So everybody is about to be gripped by World Cup fever, but before that kicks in, I want to talk about who your dream third Manchester United signer would be this summer. We've got Fred from Shakhtar Donetsk, a much needed central midfielder. We've got Delot from Porto, a reinforcement at right back, two key positions that Jose Mourinho has strengthened this summer. But if you were manager, who would be your dream third signing? So what I'm going to do in this video is run through a list of 10 players who've been linked with the move to Manchester United this summer. And I want to hear from you in the comments as to the player that you think would be your dream signing, following from Fred and Delot. First up on the list is Toby Alderweire, the 29-year-old Belgian centre-back. Clearly been heavily, heavily linked with the move to Manchester United this summer. Missed a lot of last year through injury, but few can argue against the fact that he is one of the best centre-backs in the Premier League. Virgil van Dijk, we saw what a difference he made to Liverpool from January onwards. Could Alderweireld do the same thing to Man United in defence if he joined in the summer? Next up on the list is 23-year-old midfielder Milinkovic Savic. The Serbian has been sensational, well was sensational last year for Lazio and is very much tipped to be one of the players to watch at the World Cup. So make sure you check out Serbia's games to see how he got on. But in 51 appearances for Lazio last year, he got 14 goals and six assists from a central midfield position. That's extremely impressive. Now, as Milinkovic Savic is only 23, he's got plenty of growth left in his career. And with Michael Carrick retiring, Marouane Fellaini being sold, do United need more than one central midfield reinforcement? We've already got Fred, but would you like to see Milinkovic follow him through the door next? Next up on the list is Alexandro, the Juventus left back. Now, he may have been left out of the Brazilian squad to a lot of surprise, I suppose, but Few could argue, again, against the fact that Sandro is one of the best left-backs in world football. And left-back was a big, big weakness for Man United last year. Ashley Young did a job, not a left-back. Luke Shaw is a left-back, didn't get played by Jose Mourinho. Darmian played there sometimes, let's not talk about that. But Man United need a left-back this summer, as far as I'm concerned, if Luke Shaw is not going to be played week in, week out, which it really doesn't look like he is. Now, Sandro, we've been heavily linked. Some reports now suggest that we're actually not interested in a move for Alexandro. But given that it's an area of weakness in the squad, would it be the position that you want to strengthen next? If it is, there are plenty of other options to look at. You could look at Danny Rose. The 27-year-old may not have played much football at Spurs last year, just like Alderweireld through through injury. But again, Danny Rose, one of the better left backs in the Premier League, certainly for sure. He'll be there with England at the World Cup. Not sure if he's going to start, though. Let's see how he gets on. But we could have Danny Rose. You could have Kieran Tierney, who's a Celtic left back. Again, being heavily linked with the move to Manchester United. There are certainly some left back options to choose from. And for me, I don't think you can overlook left back. I just don't know whether that will be my dream signing next. But maybe Jose Mourinho will surprise us all and go for somebody a little bit younger. Ryan Sessegnon. The left-back left winger that tore it up in the championship with Fulham last year. You know, he started off as a left-back, was pushed into a left-wing position, and he really had a sensational, sensational campaign. With 16 goals and 8 assists in 52 appearances in total, Sessegnon really was an influential player in that team. And he certainly tipped to be one for the future. But is he one that could come into this Man United team right now and play left-back, even though the majority of his team... Even though the majority of his game time last year was at left wing. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Of course, another position where we could strengthen, as I've already mentioned, with Alderweireld is centre-back. And we have been linked with Lenglet from Sevilla. Now, I don't know much about this young centre-back. But the 22-year-old made over 50 appearances for Sevilla last year and has already established himself as one to watch in the Liga. So would you rather sign Lenglet over Alderweireld? If you are going to sign a centre-back, let me know in the comments. But it's not just defenders who Jose Mourinho will be looking at. Will he look at his former player, Willian? Now, Willian, 29-year-old Brazilian, fantastic player at Chelsea. A lot of Chelsea fans wouldn't, I wouldn't say they'd be happy to see him leave, but they wouldn't be devastated if he were to leave like Eden Hazard. Willian against United at Old Trafford last year. We saw how good he can be. A dead ball specialist, somebody who's Premier League proven and works his socks off. And that's the reason why Jose Mourinho played Ashley Young over Luke Shaw last year was because of his work rate. Someone like Willian coming in would be a Mourinho type signing. So I could certainly see it happening, but it wouldn't be my dream signing at all. I think in a realistic world, Actually, in a non-realistic world, it's exactly what dream signings are. Gareth Bale, why not? 
Bale was absolutely sensational in the Champions League final when he came off the bench, scored an outrageous overhead kick and then made Loris Karius look stupid after scoring from distance. But Bale, has he fallen out of favour at Real Madrid? I wouldn't say he's fallen out of favour. He certainly fell out of favour with Zinedine Zidane, but Zidane's now left. So maybe Bale is going to stay at Real Madrid after all. But straight after the Champions League final, he made it clear that he wasn't happy with the situation right there in that he wasn't getting enough game time. He wants to be playing week in, week out. And we all know Ed Woodward loves a marquee signing. And there wouldn't be many bigger than Gareth Bale. One that would be bigger is Cristiano Ronaldo. And I really want to know from you in the comments, if you had the choice here between Ronaldo and Bale, or Ronaldo and anybody else as your dream third signing, would it be Cristiano Ronaldo, who's still banging in 50 goals a season? His numbers are phenomenal. He's going to be at the World Cup with Portugal. Can he help steer Portugal to the World Cup like he did with the Euros two years ago. Ronaldo was an absolute phenomenon at Manchester United. Although he did only score one hat-trick, he saved all of those for Real Madrid. Has gone on to do absolutely mind-boggling numbers at Real Madrid every single season. And he might be 33, but he's not like Wayne Rooney. He's an attuned athlete. Ronaldo is still going to be playing football for another good few years. And could that be at Manchester United? Would you want that to be at Manchester United? Would you want Gareth Bale, Alderweireld, Milinkovic, Savic? As I said, there are 10 players there to choose from. I want to know from you, who would be your dream signing if you were Jose Mourinho? That dream third signing to follow central midfielder Fred and right back the lot. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe there's someone I haven't mentioned in that list of 10 players. Let me know in the comments if there is someone there. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. See you soon.